EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. Whose passion for robotics has resulted in a popular consumer platform called Easy Robot. Oh boy. Um, he introduces advanced robotics to the masses through an easy to use graphical interface. DJ studies include robotic vision tracking, overcoming technological intimidation, robotic social integration, and using a lightsaber. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Schurz and friends. Hello, um, yes, I am indeed DJ Schurz, and these are some of my robots. So uh, we're gonna have some robot fun, how's that sound? Yeah. Yeah. So I should, before I start, tell you that this is the first time I have actually controlled five robots, you count four, you're gonna see a fifth one in a second, with one joystick. So I set this up about two hours ago, so if something doesn't work, meh. <laughs> Spacebar time. So, Easy Robot. Um, Easy Robot started a while ago, and I just came back from a place called Maker Faire. You guys familiar with Maker Faire? Oh, yes, indeed, some makers in the house. Well, that's really good because I have uh, made a few robots, and I've helped many people make a few robots. So I'm going to start back in 1978. So you remember two guys, Steve and Steve? Yeah. Yes, okay, Apple founders. So they had an idea. It wasn't the computer they made. There were computers all over the world when these guys created the first computer. But what they had done is they finalized a method of making human-computer interaction easy, the Macintosh. As you're all familiar with the Macintosh, the mouse, the keyboard, the graphic interface. So what that has to do with robots is this started from a whole bunch of complicated things that I was trying to do. I was trying to make robots accessible to just anybody. I wanted people to be able to build robots. So I started creating a few different kits. Now this looks complicated to you, doesn't it? Yeah, if you saw the back of this one, it's actually just a bunch of red and black wires because they only had two colors of wires when I came up with the Eureka moment to do it. So this is actually the beginning and the end of something called Easy Robot. And this is something that I produced which allows everybody from beginners all the way up to NASA, to MIT, to create very advanced robots. Not just what you'd expect these guys to be, but also, there's a plenty of different kinds of robots, too. For example, we have flying robots. And let's bring this guy up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come here. He's being a little shy. I gotta give him a little kick. There we go. Come back, robot man. All right. You wanna fly in the air and say hello to everybody? There we go. So, this is a thank you very much. As you can tell, I'm just women. So this is a robot that flies, and it's actually a commercial robot that you can just buy. And as you can see, as I control this guy, all the robots are responding at the same time. So they're all being controlled by this joystick. What I've done is, uh, it's too bad you can't see the graphic interface that's allowing this to, uh, to happen, but this robot can also follow your face, colors, motion, pictures, augmented reality, and in fact, here, I'm gonna land it and show you something really cool. Check this out. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Okay, I'll do like this one. Okay, so this is a pair of augmented reality glasses. Now, these are actually pretty easy to come by, but they're made for video games. So check this out. You see? So what I'm seeing inside of here, as cool as I probably look, is as you can tell by here, the robots. I'm controlling them by my head. Thank you. It all started from this. So this is actually an MSN, a screenshot of an MSN conversation I was having with my friend Michelle a few years ago. And see the Wally up in the corner? That's this guy. So I put a camera in his head and I said, hey, I want somebody to control this. So I created this software package which allowed her to control my robot from her house. Then I decided to give it a name, so I called it Easy Robot. 
From there, I started adding more and more features. I said, I want my robot to do speech recognition. I want to talk to it. I want my robot to be able to hook up to joysticks. So I added joystick support. I wanted a cloud network so people can connect their robots to other people's robots all around the world. So I created that. Then they said, I just not done. I want it to fly. And I want cameras so they can see. So I started adding all this stuff. And then when I did it, all of a sudden someone said to me, holy crap. <laughs> I'll say the S word. So, um, so they, when, when they said that, they said, your robots can do a lot of stuff. They can do vacuums and everything. So it turned out I had made the most powerful robot platform in the world. Right here from Calgary. Thank you. And while doing so, it's been such a positive and enlightening experience. The people I've met, the places I've gone, and the things that are being done with this platform. It's not just these little toys. These are the things that I do for fun. Fix the crowd. So I network everything together. This Wall-E, for example, with the circuit board that I've created and the software can be uh -oh, connected to the world. This is a walking robot, which allows you to be able to, with our software, you can actually make walking bipeds. You can actually configure the software, and as long as you have motors in the places that are necessary for balance, the software will actually support walking robots. So Honda Asmo will cost a million dollars? No, 300 bucks. <laughs> Easy community. That's what drives this, this whole project. So we talk about visionaries, and everyone that's talked prior to me, they're saying some amazing things. They're saying, I watch people and I learn. And that's where this project came from. Watching people and learning. What do you want robots to do? You can shout out. <laughs> this guy, Meek, he's 13 years old, and he built one of these. 13. Within two weeks of getting the platform and getting the kit, he created his best friend, who was a robot. So this is actually a screenshot of the YouTube video he had created. These are just some of the fun robots that are being built by our community. I like this stuff. The minion from that movie, I can't remember. Uh, the crab robot made out of a router, you know, RTD2, and the flying robot. There's some amazing stuff being done with this that's not just for um, medical and disability and elderly, and it's all driven by this. And that last bit is the most important part of any Eureka moment, because you need someone to share that with. You need somebody to be able to sit down and say, Look what I did! And all of you say, yes! Because it's amazing. And that is Easy Robot. And I think I'm done.